I'm Vladimir Kalichka. I'm Ray Mercer. I'm ready. I'm ready. What are you waiting for? No mercy. After a split decision loss in a fight many felt he won against the prime Lennox Lewis, merciless Ray Mercer was back with a vengeance, knocking out six club fighters back to back, two of which resulted in his opponents being ejected from the ring. Yeah, just really making a mess. Steele's face and Steele goes out of the ring, down onto the floor. Mercer was as tough as nails. A former U.S. Army sergeant turned boxer, who, although often branded as a crude brute, possessed the world-class boxing skills needed to acquire an Olympic gold medal. So it's all gonna boil down to who is the real man and who's gonna do what we said we was gonna do. But I've been training for eight weeks to fight, to box, and that's what I plan on doing. And another right hand, and another. As a pro, nothing but knockouts, as Mercer tore through the journeyman until he became a world champion, which was later sealed by a legendary first title defense over the undefeated Tommy the Duke Morrison. I just went to town. I think I knocked him out and woke him up a couple of times in between all those punches. After the emphatic win over Morrison, Mercer's career was a bit stop and start. He never entered the ring looking like a guy that had taken training camp seriously, and that was ultimately his downfall against the washed up Larry Holmes, journeyman Jesse Ferguson, and the aforementioned Lennox Lewis, where he rose to the occasion and fought his ass off over the 10 round distance. Yes, I'm telling you, Ray Mercer got a tough chin because I hit him with some shots and I felt it in my hand. And he kept coming. In short, Mercer was a man who struggled with motivation in fights where he was expected to win. He would take his eye off the ball, but his next challenge, as he approached the twilight of his career, was against a man that every expert in the business expected to whoop his aging behind. The clear heir apparent to the heavyweight throne, the man expected to fly the flag for the most consequential division for the remainder of the 2000s and beyond. Dr. Steelhammer, Vladimir Klitschko. It's hard for modern-day boxing fans to hearken back to a time when Vladimir Klitschko wasn't just a tentative, safety-first part-time wrestler who stunk out the joint fight after fight. In the early 2000s, the 6'6", 250-pound Ukrainian was slinging his weight around in a fan-friendly way that caused absolute hell for the guys he was up against. Calvin Brock has taken a beating and a big right hand by Klitschko and leaving himself exposed as he knocks Brock down with a right hand. By the time Vlad met Mercer in 2002, he was 38-1 with 35 KOs. He was known for his aggressive combinations and ruthless finishing. However, question marks around his chin arose after gassing out and being stopped by the journeyman slash part-time golfer Ross Purity in 1998, whereafter Vlad started dishing out ruthless beatings to world-ranked contenders to restore his respect among his peers and media. Vladimir Klitschko has had a spectacular career, and how could he possibly be any more exciting than he was tonight. Given Mercer's current run of form and Klitschko's perceived shaky chin, this one had all the hallmarks of a potential banana skin. BLTV picks up the action from round one. Uh, mainly off of performance against quality opposition. It's gonna be a good gauge tonight. The one thing he's gotta watch out with Mercer is Mercer's jab. And Mercer has already rocked Klitschko with one jab, so Vladimir knocks Mercer back with the right hand. Been knocked down once, by Holyfield on a body shot has never been knocked out. Of Klitschko's right hand. This time Klitschko ducks his head and fires the left hand back. He dives for Mercer for the left hook. And that is the first knockdown ever in Mercer's career on a punch to the head. Mercer was beaten up and dropped in the first round. It was a harsh reality check that he was no longer in there with part-time club fighters. Vlad was hungry. He's the one who gets hit with the right hand when he throws the jab. Another big shot. Mercer backs into the rope. Again, the left hook. I'm going to make him worry about me. And that's exactly what he's doing tonight, too. A punch-perfect opening two rounds from Vladimir forced the former champ to wipe off the rust and start finding some remnants of success with his jab. But almost always in combination behind. And it's kind of getting this road now. 
both of Vladimir's eyes swelling up rapidly. Mercer was doing enough to offset Vladimir's rhythm, but the gap in both physical fitness and, more to the point, punching power was starting to take its toll on the man who hadn't had a competitive fight for over six years. Guns Mercer again. Oh, the left hook is dynamite. In there trying to take those blows. Uppercut. And Sass, which I think was very impressive in the beginning. Oh, there's a colossal right cross, and Mercer drops his hands as if to say, I've got no defense for that. Another big heavyweight, Jameel McCline, seated at ringside here tonight. Klein has moved into the top six unexpectedly. Klitschko bombs Mercer again with the right hand. Klitschko's fighting a very good fight, and Mercer, too. Big left hook by Klitschko. Shake it all you want. I'll hit you again, and again. You can question Mercer for many things, but his toughness and chin certainly aren't among them. Vladimir was landing concussive shots with bad intentions. Ray was now limited to a punch from the gods to save him from a potential first stoppage loss of his entire career. Ray needs to open up now. Mercer is squinting. Oh, what, oh. oh, what a right hand. I think Mercer can believe what's happening to him in there. I think the head taking is all about, my God, where did this guy come from? This could be the end here. There's only one heavyweight in the world who might have a chance to stand in against Vladimir Klitschko. Vladimir was probably close to punching himself out there in the sixth, but a sustained attack of brutal hooks left no choice for the referee, Randy Newman, to call a halt to the action and save Mercer from himself. A dominant, powerful display that left the HBO crew calling for an immediate fight with the number one heavyweight in the world, Lennox Lewis. He's the really strongest chin in the world. I tell you, my experience, I have, I think, enough, and I never saw something like this. Compliments for Ray Mercer. I think I think he has a great chance of beating Lennox Lewis. I think he 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 uh, he represented the WBO well. He's a, he's a big and strong guy. But I was just I think he was gonna get tired throwing all those punches, and I was wrong this time. I enjoyed the fight very much. It was very interesting fighting against high quality fighter. We don't want looking how old he is. But his shape is very good. As seen here, Klitschko was a fun heavyweight to watch around this time. But ultimately, being exciting is what got his chin smashed to pieces over the next two years, losing to two hard-punching heavyweights in their own right, Corey Sanders and Lamont Brewster, respectively. Because Klitschko has not been known for the best of a chin. Every loss he has, with the exception of his last one, was to a punch. In the end, Vlad had no choice but to adapt his style to not only protecting his defensive frailties, but more so rebuild his confidence. There's no denying Vlad is one of the finest athletes the heavyweight division has seen in the last 25 years. He did everything right in both his preparation and on fight night. But mentally, this was a man who had to battle some demons, which correlated into negative performances for near on a decade, despite most of them resulting in KO victories. Ultimately, he has held legitimate heavyweight titles for a longer period of time in his life than any other fighter in the history of division, even Joe Lewis did not hold heavyweight championships for as many days of his life as Vladimir Klitschko did. Mercer was finished after the Vlad defeat. He kept boxing for a few more years, but it would be in an MMA octagon after he had retired in 2009 where he'd sign off on a high note. They are so even on total strikes at the moment. Oh! Yeah, Tim Sylvia yeah. KO'd him with one punch. I think Ray Mercer was 46 at the time. So here's a gentleman's agreement. Look at the look at his face. Like, come on, man. You After just he said we're not going to do that. But it's watch just this. natural. Watch him setting this up. Bang!